What's up guys, Zebex Sound, and welcome back to part 4 of the 59 watch on PGA Tour. Um, one thing, I did do uh, TPC Scottsdale with McElroy and the recording fucked up and everything like that. So, unfortunately, number 4 is going to be DJ on St. Andrews. But I shot a 62 at Scottsdale with Rory McElroy, so... I, I didn't get the 59 or anything, so it's I'm not too pissed off that uh, the recording corrupted or anything like that, but um, we're going to do 59 here at St. Andrews with Dustin Johnson. I have a good feeling about this one, guys. Like a super really good feeling about this one. I can't believe it was established in 1552. Just yeah, never mind. I thought that was going to go all the way in the water. I have a good feeling about this one. Dustin Johnson and St. Andrews. There's some short par fours around here. You could probably hit a couple of them in in two, maybe get a couple eagle chances here on St. Andrews, and that could really help our cause here, and I think could be golden in the end. We'll find out. Sit. Sit. If we can birdie the first, it would be a great, great help. Of course, because this isn't a very difficult hole or anything, so a birdie here would be ideal. No. Never in your wildest dreams, sir. I actually went behind the hole and turned the other way. Like, how does that even make fucking sense? It's horse shit. Horse shit. Now the second hole here is the Open Championship, and Frank, what's the best way to attack? Ideally, if you're not the longest hitter, just down the right side. But if uh, if you've got um, some wind conditions, wind behind your back, you can nearly drive this green. This one's sweet, Frank. Super. Kick left. Oh yeah, buddy. What a drive there. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Seems to like it. Spin. Okay, all right. Should be a birdie. Should be, I say, because these greens are quite tough. Good luck. That's birdie number one. We need 12 more. At the third hole now, Frank or maybe a couple eagles in there somewhere. It would make things a lot easier for you sure. There's some danger lurking somewhere out there on the old course. There is. There's the pot bunkers down the right side. This is a tee where really you want to have an idea where that wind is coming from. If it's into your face, you might want to be a little cautious and go towards the middle of the golf course. But if it's behind you, well, then it's worth, worth challenging that right side. Beautiful rhythmic swing right there. Right down Peach Tree. Second shot. Good look at the green. Go to about 47. No. Just no. It's not going to be that bad because I had a short swing on the way back. I need to get them down. I'm not hitting them well for some reason at the moment. Easy birdie. See if he can get something going here. Two straight birdies. Wow, I thought he made that. Now, putt for thought. I don't fucking believe it. Putt right here. He is currently sitting at one under for the round. I don't believe that I've just missed that putt when I'm hunting for a fucking 59. Might as well fucking kiss it goodbye right now and anyway. Absolutely useless bastard. A very hard par four. Um, two ways to play it. Down the right, that's a very, very narrow strip of fairway. Most people go to the left side, a little more conservative. That's so bad. Like, I, I don't understand how... It turned that much when it looked like it was turning the other way at the start of the putt. That's why I didn't turn it that much. Frank, the handicap system in golf really is the great equalizer, isn't it? Yeah, there's no sport like it. I can't imagine going to Wimbledon and playing you know, sort of uh, Djokovic or Federer. Or it's been left, not right. Of course it spins right. And goes down the hill. Of course it does! what our handicaps are on the first tee. You decide who's going to get strokes, and then off you go and play. And you play on a level playing field. <laughs> Unbelievable that that went in there. He's going so fast as well. That's hilarious. Are you thinking eagle when you step up onto the You need to be thinking eagle. You could, especially if you got a little bit of breeze behind you, but um it's Yeah, that's absolutely hilarious, isn't it? With the exception of those three bunkers on the right that just sort of 
We could do with an eagle here because this isn't a long hole or anything. Not long by any stretch of the imagination. We probably have a monster hit right there. He carried that more than 350 yards. Nine iron. A cut off nine iron coming into a par five here. And then we hit it perfectly. Please go. Why aren't you going right? Where you, where's the wind? Of course, look at that kick. <laughs> look at the kicks we're getting in this game, dude. This game's just trying to fuck with me now on purpose. There's no other explanation for these fucking bounces. It's absolutely ridiculous, the bounces I'm getting here. Like, that was a perfectly struck shot, exactly where we wanted to hit it, and somehow the ball just doesn't come back in with the wind at all because of my stance or something? I don't know, but it's, it's dumb. Dumb as hell. Yeah, just be very careful of the wind conditions here because that'll affect the strategy off the tee, but bunkers left and right to be avoided. I'm starting to get really frustrated at the game, honestly. Like, these... The, lo the luck that I'm having is just ridiculous. I know I'm making excuses, but it's actually just so annoying. Yeah, really, the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. This is your green light special. Why aren't you sitting? I put, I put that back like six foot. I don't... St. Andrews is dumb. would jumpstart the round. A third straight birdie. Some good playing. Praise be. All right, we need to birdie. If we can birdie these last three, get six birdies in a row, that would be pretty incredible. But um, you could drive this pretty close to the green. This is a green that. How about on the green? Eleventh, the par three, and um, so you won't see. How about on the green, sir? Finish, but um, you can actually drive very, very close to a bunker called the shell, which is the one that protects the par three. No. That's exactly. <gasps> oh, son of a bitch! I thought I was gonna go up the other side. I was like, "What?" In the bunker. All right. So green side bunker. What's he looking to do with this shot, Frank? Well, really, you have to look at the amount of green you got to play with. You don't have to try and fly the ball right by the flag. Allow it to run. Plus, if you can get it to run like a putt, you never know. It might just go in. Yeah. Wow! What a shot out of the bunker! Come on! <laughs> Set now over the putt. Thank you. Thank you. And that's four in a row to get the five under par. Like I said, we need a six under. Front. At minimum. So we get a birdie here. That'd be great. Saber, go away. Can ruin my no audio. That's so ridiculous. It was almost like that's what he wanted to do, but why Into the wind, I uh, catch it three fast, three percent fast. Shot here, I could have been perfect if green. I didn't catch that three fast. It was all like really good. Solid play, heart of the green. We need that birdie on ni number nine now. Absolutely need it. Get out of here, foxes. We don't need y'all. And remember, too, the last time it was here, Louis Eustace at the ninth hole. He had no problem driving this par four. So let's see if you can do the same. If you can carry that last bunker down there, there's every. Whoa, that's real good. We should definitely have a birdie here to get the six under. At least a birdie. Position where he can attack the pin. Yeah, he has all those options now. With that ball sitting up, you can bring it in high, you can bring it in low. The choice is yours. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that choice. I just, I just, I hate this game so much. I just hate it. All right, birdie, six under front nine. Like I said, a minimum six under. We need a seven under back nine right now. 
chance I think though we need to be 12 under coming into the last three holes because those last three are really difficult and it's pretty hard to do that honestly but really it's drivable for most of the players um, just got to worry about those two bunkers the sort of short right of the green you finish up there then uh, this hole becomes a little more difficult go jump Right there. Just a perfect spot for fairway. That is prime real estate. How do you get a line like that, seriously? You could hit any club from there. Good chance now for a yeah, boy. Your boy's gonna get to seven under here. DJ is now at seven under par, and the 59 watch is on. It's on. We need six more birdies in the last eight holes. Maybe an eagle somewhere along the way could help our cause a great, great deal. Sure, so that bunker on the left is called Hill. That's the famous bunker where Bobby Jones couldn't get out of it many years ago and actually ripped up his scorecard. So a good tee shot here, just find that right level where the flag is. Seems to like it. Jump. Jump. Thought it was gonna go a little further, honestly. This for birdie. Frank two is nice, but three is even better. I thought he had that. Why do I always have to miss these putts by just a minuscule amount? Honestly, I don't think we can do this now. Unless we get an eagle on the par 5. Which is a really long par 5 and I think we're into the wind with the way the wind is set up. Which sucks. Are so iconic in the sport. Yeah, this is a, a fun hole as we start to sort of head back to the village of St. Andrews. Hole's called Heathery. There's a big crop of heather on the left, and there's four little pot bunkers that are in the middle of this fairway. So you really got to be cognizant of those. But good time to take the head cover off if you're a long hitter. Oh God, that's going to be way too big. One pot bunker. Just shoot it right. Oh my god, this is going to be the longest putt in the history of putts. We haven't seen a whole lot of people do it today. We just saw it right there. Well done. Are you serious right now? 77 foot putt here. Well, this one's tracking. No! No, I did not! Hold a 77 footer. Are you serious right now? No way. No way, dude. Eagle before we even get to the par five. Oh my goodness. If you can go in the exact right position, which is slightly left center, you will actually have a full view. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, that's gonna be in the rough. So that sets up a tougher second shot, missing the fairway with the drive, now in the rough. <laughs> On my reckoning, we have 140 yards left. God damn it, man, I can't believe that I, that just happened. It's <laughs> was fucking crazy. Oh no, that's garbage. Never mind, that's actually decent. We might have a chance to get to 10 under here, guys. This could be... This could be it right now. We could get to 10... Oh, no, I'm not going to get ahead of myself there. So, given that, that was a very good shot. Yes! Come on! 10 under! Yeah, knock him dead, DJ. Holy shit, dude. We're 10 under with 5 to play. We only need 3 more birdies. In these last five holes, the problem is that 16 and 17 are really difficult. Oh, 
Perfect. Perfect. Come on now. If we can birdie this, we only need two two out of the last four. And 18 should be a birdie hole. 16 and 17 are the ones I'm worried about. Wait, dude, we can get at this? Do we want to hit this full loft? This is a good looking shot. Please sit. No. I would have been better off hitting the 241, honestly, dude. Frank, or the 248, I mean. Just didn't have enough back I would have maybe got there. I don't know. So Probably not, actually. On that. This could be an, up and, an easy up and down for a birdie, though, if we can just easily get this up and down here. I can't believe this lads we need two birdies in the last four this is this we're not gonna get a better chance than this right here never in your life are you gonna get a better chance to shoot a 59 than than this right here I cannot believe this holy shit these next three holes are really difficult that's my only problem I don't even know if I can birdie one of them we need to just get a Oh no. Oh no. We need one birdie on the next three. And then 18, I'll take a birdie there. Please sit. I thought, no, that was way too much. I thought, it, like, the lie was 83 to 88%. I thought we might need that, but we did not need that. Frank, I'm not saying he should pull out driver here, but this is a long putt. Greens are fast, though. You never know. Good line, good pace. Might have a chance. Please stop there. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Just hurt my leg somehow. Alright, alright. We need a birdie on 16. I think 17 is the hardest on the course, so if we could get it on 16 here, par 17, birdie 18, that would be our best chance, I feel. Like, this one's not too terrible, you know what I mean? Well, the normal player would actually try and hit the ball down the left. I've seen the odd player try and hit it down that out of bounds line. And sort of flash it down the right side, but really there's not much in the run of the rich unless you're the longest hitter. All right, we need to birdie this now. That's 336 down the center. We're not going to get a better chance than this. 17 is going to be really difficult. No, 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 relax. No, no, we don't need that fastness. Oh, actually, maybe we do. Can't hide the flag stick from that man. Some tester from four feet. Yes! We need one more birdie out of these last two, dude. Holy shit! Holy shit! This could be it, man. This, we need a power here, though. Like a power is not easy here, even. Yeah, this is one hole I think that uh, anybody that goes to the old course certainly wants to play. Blind tee shot, you've got to flash it across. Down the middle, down the middle, down the middle. I hate this hole so much, dude. If we can get a par here, this would be huge. Imagine we birdied it. This hole has given me so much trouble over the years. And if you're a little ambitious and a little strong, then there's a road itself and an out of bounds beyond this green. Look how far left it's going. Oh, it's going to get a horrible bounce. That's two putts for a par. I'll take it any day. We need to birdie 18, though. Pretty good old day from this distance. Just trying to take care of business. Oh, no. Oh, this is a come down to the last hole now. We absolutely 100% need a birdie. 
If we don't birdie this, I'm gonna be so- I'm just gonna- Oh, please, Lord. Let us birdie this. Please, Lord. Peering in and looking at you. Yeah, you've started by the by the town and the little starters box, and then you've sort of gone. I caught it well. Now you're all the way on the back end, and, and it's, and please it's go, like please go hard. In, uh, Give me a as but, um, really in the game of least difficult shot as possible. No, dude, I really thought we might get to like the front of the green there. Oh, I'm so nervous right now. I'm so fucking nervous right now. I'm gonna bottle this. DJ always bottles it. He's putting the pressure on me. DJ, why you always gotta bottle shit? You put your pressure on me now, sir. Can't hide the flag stick from that we can't miss that, surely. Yes! Thank you! Thank you! We've done it! We've done it! 59 has been done. I cannot believe it. That one putt on 12. That eagle on 12. Done it for us. Holy shit! Yes! Yes! Come on! Hopefully it recorded. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. We've done it. We've done the 59. If you still want to see more of these, I can try do it on the other courses or whatever. Just hit the like button and I'll make sure to try. Hope you guys enjoyed this part. I cannot believe we shot 59. Thanks to everyone for supporting this and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.